Hey everybody, this is Tam Biota, and you're watching the Daily Review. So today I have from uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the Legacy Collection uh, Automorpher Green Ranger. So this is Tommy here, and you can see, once again, this is a reproduction of the original Automorphers from uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And uh, uh, we have the original figure inside of a box and uh, or original carded figure inside the box and it's reproduction all that stuff with the tattoos and, and and such and you come to the back here and you can see i bought it at um gamestop ended up buying an extra set of uh of them at toys r us not toys r us at target so that i could have a set to keep up when i went decided to go ahead and uh open these because the the sticker it's i don't know i didn't want to try to damage the packaging with uh, removing the sticker so i just decided to go ahead and buy an extra set and uh I'd go ahead and review these so all right you can see here uh we have uh tommy morphing into the green ranger and it's just showing how to flip his head around to do that um, you have a little a little bio snippet up here basically it's just a story of the power rangers if you want to if you want to read that i can bring it down here and you can pause and read at your own leisure these are the other figures that are coming in the legacy line so we have the mini helmets i'm not going to really worry about those but i have these two uh also so Nineteen ninety four, huh? So the original, I didn't know that. Okay. All right. So well, let's go ahead and get this packaging open so we can check out the packaging on the inside. All right. So here's the Green Ranger Tommy's uh, packaging in the inside of the box. So this is what you get here, and you can see it's a reproduction. And if you look at the back here. It says as such that it's reproduction packaging, so you don't have to worry about um, these being uh, people trying to knock these off as originals, which I don't know why you would, because right now the these cost more than the originals, so uh, it would it really wouldn't work out for you. But as you can see, these are the other figures that uh, should all be coming out. Hopefully, maybe later on, if those do well, maybe we'll see some of the... Uh, Evil Space Aliens, but it says it's reproduction packaging, so it's just a reproduction image that they're using. So, um, currently not in stores. Currently not in stores. So hopefully, hopefully we'll get those. Maybe, maybe. All right. Well, let's get this package open so we can check out the Green Ranger. All right. So here's Tommy, the Green Ranger, out of his packaging. I did notice stuff. I noticed that stuff is, is, is wrong with this figure. But oh well. It's uh, it's an original reproduction of the figure. Um, uh, okay. Uh, I, th I think I know what they did. But um, I'll get into that in just a little bit. So inside his packaging, he does have his uh, dragon dagger. And his uh, blade blaster. And his temporary tattoo. And that. Yeah. Uh, a very golden dragon shield. Um, you know. Yep, it, it, it likes to collect fingerprints. So, yeah, that's going to be awesome. Okay. All right, so. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, I don't think we should have any issue with the uh, gold plastic syndrome because it looks like it was done out of the green plastic and then just uh, probably vacuum plated gold so there he is with the dragon shield on and the weapon, uh, as you can see, it has a hole in the hand, so or a hole in the handle, because there's a tab in the hand that allows you to tab that like that. And if you want to, with the blade blaster, you can do the same thing, or you can put it in this holster. So. I don't remember Tommy having a blade blaster, but oh well. 
So, so the things that I noticed that were a little weird with this figure is uh, the patterns on his gloves and on his boots. So, which I, I I can't I can't fault this figure for because it's just a reproduction of the original figure. But he shouldn't have uh, diamonds; they should be triangles. So, oh well. Like I said, no fault of his own. All right, so to make the uh, automorph function, I'm, I'm, I want to be careful because I don't want to break these tabs off. So let, let's see something. So in the picture, it's showing him with the shield on. Can you still do it? Or does his hair get in the way? You can do it. Oh, his hair doesn't get in the way either. That's weird. It says on the packaging not to... That it's only four. Well, yeah, his hair does kind of get in the way. It, it pushes the uh, the dragon shield back so it doesn't cover all the white right here. But you still can do it. So, so to make the uh, automorph feature work, uh, like I said, you had the uh, the head flipped around. And you just push this and then he, uh, he morphs. And we'll do it one more time for posterity. There you go. So, all right. So real quickly for articulation on this guy, uh, there's not very much. The so ranger head doesn't move, but good old Tommy's head does. So, and then uh, the arms they have two different joints in it at the shoulder. So forward and back, and then one to go out to the side, and you can go up that far. So it's really weird. Uh, you have a twist. You have an elbow, which is, uh, like I said, it's a rivet. That's really weird. But, yeah. Come here. You can't go back because the butt's in the way still. You can go forward. You can bend the knee. That's about it. Yeah, let's see. Look, whenever you press it down there, it doesn't show the white. But, oh well. Oh well. All right, that's going to do it for Tommy. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. And if you have, then I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.